people need to call you by the business you do. But with that mindset of an entrepreneur, if you keep going out as a real estate sales agent, oh sorry, it is wrong. So that's a very complete wrong name you should have. Now, if you have this opportunity now, right now, that has been presented to you, that was why I asked that if you're building this business for one year, at least minimum, if you don't have anybody in your team at all, you should have minimum 400, 300 persons in the team. Then your direct people should be close to almost people you see every day, that you hang out and talk business, should be nothing less than 10, 20. They are called your mastermind. Those people sit down with you to brainstorm, you think together. You set the next target, the next goal of what you want to get in the next three months. How many of us have some major goal that you want to achieve this year? Major goals you have want to achieve this year. Now you want to take your pen. Do that for me. Humbly introduce the person of Mr. Yemi Aziz. Uh, we're going to look at the attributes of a good realtor. What qualities should a good realtor uh, have. Now, I said everyone wants to succeed in his or her career. What is career? Career is your choosing occupation that you want to do for the rest of your life that you are hoping to grow in it and succeed. So, when you have a career, the intention is to actually succeed. A career is not a job seeking. Can somebody listen to me? When you are developing a career, you are not looking for a job. Hello? You are now having a livelihood or a means of livelihood that you can say in the next two years, I want to buy a Rolls Royce. That's what career can do for you. When you stay in one bedroom flat, you say in the next two years, I want to stay in two bedroom flat. That's what career can do for you. When you don't have a car, you have been using legs over car up and down, and you want to buy one, even if you have a neighbor car. That's what, if you have a career, you will be able to plan it.